happy Christ no I'm joking <laughs> not just yet I'm just so excited I love Christmas I hope you're doing okay and hope that Christmas shopping is you know getting there come on people please welcome my next special guest musical theatre performer and vocalist Georgie Lovett take a listen first question for you is growing up was music a big part of your life and who were your musical influences and your ambitions growing up it was probably the main thing in my life from like I don't even know when can you start singing I don't know what age that was but I was in singing lessons I was one of those <laughs> kids who are like you know every day after school some of my friends were like, I'm just going home I was like what I've got dance singing drama all on Tuesday and I've got a lesson tomorrow and then I'm like picking up the saxophone on Thursday like I just feel like I never stopped but um and I always did like shows um um and then it was like do I want to do it like properly and I think um I I was fully set I was like I want to do it and then I did my A-levels and I was like no I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it I was like it sound it just feels like a, lot, a bit much so I I'd like got into uni to do like English I was like I want to do that and then I was like no what are you doing yeah <laughs> so I took it so like I started auditioning and then took a year because I didn't get in the first year and then managed to get into drama school the second year so I was like it was very like I was one of those people like it was August and I like rang up my drama school and was like can I audition and then two weeks later I started <laughs> like, I was, oh my god really they, on, they didn't even have any spaces they had to like move things around because I was so late in the game because I was just That's like mm, sorry I'm like flighty and I couldn't decide if I wanted to do it or not um people I looked up to um Lindsay Mendez was always like my queen and Christian Chenoweth because yeah. I was like obsessed with Glinda still am to be fair but yeah they were like <laughs> my main ones I absolutely loved them brilliant it's weird isn't it I know exactly what you mean like you go through stages where you're just like I think because you do it every day all day like when you're younger you hit a point in your life where you're like I don't do it it's just like but you've been doing this forever this is all I thought you wanted to do and you're like yeah I'm not doing it anymore I've decided yeah. I'm not going to do it anymore I know yeah. and everyone around you is just like what what's the matter with you yeah I remember the turning point I did like I did dog fight in my second year of college just like for fun alongside anything else and someone was like, oh, are you doing it next year? And I was like, no. They were like, why? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and that really was the turning point. And I went home, like, sat my parents down. And I was like, look, I had a small breakdown and I'm changing what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I think I've had an epiphany. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, just stay calm. I'll do it. Just remain calm. I'm all fine. Like, my dad, God love him. Like, he used to drive me everywhere. Yeah. And then it was just like, yeah, I don't, mm, I don't know. <laughs> no no this is not not don't know is not an option <laughs> oops mm. I think it must happen to everyone though genuine like because you've been so like hard at it I think it yeah just must and I think because ever all anyone ever tells you is like oh it's really hard Are you sure really hard you won't work really hard and you're like well maybe I won't and then they're like why aren't you I'm like because you said it was horrible <laughs> <laughs> I took I listened to you yeah like, I took that I, I took it on board <laughs> so describe your journey then to being kind of where you are now when did you kind of like fall back in love with it and has it been I'm not going to say easy because it's never easy has it <laughs> but you know what has been the road that you've taken to where you are today so yeah I think it was it's always been a love even if I was like am I gonna do it am I not gonna do it um and then I got so I got into drama school when I was 19 I went to PPA in Guildford and that three years was such a whirlwind like it, it was amazing one of the best three years of my whole life it was amazing and yeah it was it was difficult and you have you learn so much about yourself in drama school like it's just oh, yes. it, it's just so revealing and crazy and but amazing at the same time and everyone will say that I think um and then when I was in third year um did my showcase got my agent and I had my first audition which was for Bear a pop opera at the vaults ended up getting it <laughs> somehow <laughs> I was like this is all happened very quickly um and then so that was I had to leave my third year early so like while my friends were all still doing their I think the show was pajama game I was like traveling up and down to London like from Guildford and just like <laughs> doing a show and I was like this is my life like what's going on and it just I like I still now I think of it, it was all a bit of a dream like I can't I can't fully <laughs> I'm like ah happen that happened and then whilst whilst I was rehearsing for that like two weeks into the rehearsal I got my first 
audition for Les Mister and I was like, oh, like, oh my god, like so excited. I was like, can you even cope? And then <laughs> I just kept, I just kept getting recalls. But I remember it was such a long process. Like I do the, I found out I got the audition, then had to wait like a week to do it. Then I'd wait a week, found out I got it, had to wait a week, do the recall, and then it's so on. I only did three rounds. And then it took them, like, four weeks to tell everyone that they got the job. So I was just sat in, like, turmoil, like, oh, my God, I did it from there. And then I, I got the call that I'd got it, and I was like... <laughs> I rang my mum, she's like, you're joking, you're joking. She's like, are you serious? I was like, somehow, yeah, yes. I don't even know. <laughs> I was like... I don't, oh, but it was just... And that's what I just feel like, I feel like, because these things kind of just like happen so quickly I was like oh my god like this is just so so amazing and then obviously we like rehearsed and opened which was insane um and we rehearsed for ages because obviously it was the new the new production so we were like in full-on rehearsals for quite a while and then we had like full tech for three weeks which was crazy (laughs) so many so many rehearsals and then it was just like we were so unlucky like everything kept going wrong and like we and then like because like our Tenardio was on the opening night got sent home he's so ill he couldn't go on so then to get the first cover on and then we were like then we had Matt Lucas in and then he hurt himself so then we had to get someone else in and we were all just like are we cast and then we closed what's happening then no not so playing the sailing to say that no no it never is is it never is it's not like you say you're like yes I've got it and then something else happens and you're like it's okay then something else and you're like okay I'm sorry like I'm really trying to be positive here people but you're really testing me (laughs) so what was it like that um feeling about opening night because I'm guessing like did you think about that when you were younger did you kind of dream about what it would be like to stand on a big stage like that and kind of like take your bow in front of all these people on a on a very very well known you know yeah. show I mean to be fair when people say musical theatre most people go oh yeah like lame is right yeah like, yeah yeah it was it was mad like because because we'd done the show so many times and so many dress rooms in the theatre which we don't you don't always get when you do a cast change but because we there was no cast to change over from we were there all the time and it felt that we'd really gotten comfortable and on the opening night um my best friend was watching and he said there was a moment in one day more because I'm, I'm I'm at the front bit in the V which I love and um I did like a look and he like yelled he was like ah, I saw you <laughs> doing this thing where you were and he, I was like no. I was like, <laughs> I just had this moment and I was like oh my god amazing and then yeah the bow is just it was an amazing night. It was just so crazy, and it felt like Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet because that's the thing. You work so hard for something, and like that first night is kind of all leading up to that little little moment of like gold dust. I'm, I'm literally covered in goosebumps. <laughs> I was just like that. It was insane, and it was like a lot of people's like West End debut or like professional debuts. So it was like it was all really like special because everyone was there was just this buzz it was amazing yeah amazing so do you set goals and targets for yourself within your career or do you just like to kind of go with the flow I think I definitely have like shows I want to be in or shows that I love and things that I want to do but I think I don't think I've got like set ones because because the industry is so changing like who knows if that show is even going to come back whilst I'm in the right age bracket so I don't think you can get too weighed down on things like that um but definitely I think I'd like oh I some re- I really want to do a show at the Hope Mill in Manchester just like a bucket list I just think it's really cool yeah but then I'd, like, I'd love to be in a tv show so like it's like things like that and so yeah. a bit more like vague rather than like I want to play um the track who dances by the fountain in Wicked even though I do <laughs> but like they're not all that <laughs> yeah like you say sometimes you have to be more general about things don't you like um yeah because yeah otherwise you you might be hanging your hopes on one one gig and it's like that's not coming yeah, around it's not, that's not happening yeah and then it, it even if, you, if you're up for it if you're so invested in it, it just hurts that a little bit more so <laughs> yeah be distant but be secretly excited <laughs> so are you somebody who gets really really nervous before a show or are you just kind of like able to channel channel that and just just go with it and have fun or do you still struggle with nerves no I I don't really get the nerves like obviously I get like I get like the buzz of excitement it's more like butterflies than nerves but like once I finish I'm like 
Oh, was it? Was that okay? What do you think? I think I've got this act on until it's over, and then I'm at yeah. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> like, I think I'm so I'm so delayed. I'm too chill. That I actually don't even get nervous when I've done it. Um, <laughs> brilliant that's so funny but as well it's that like thing isn't it you know that adrenaline is it when it takes over you do you just can't help it and you've just got to go with it and then yeah afterwards it's that release of like and then you go oh my god what did I just do yeah you're like how was it how was it like was I good <laughs> you remember did yeah what came did out? I just stand there yeah yeah what happened yeah so Christmas is just around the corner do you love Christmas is my first question I love the build up to Christmas, but I find Christmas Day really overwhelming. <laughs> I do. I love like and like my birthday is near Christmas, so it's like a really fun month. So like it's lots yeah. of like. But the thing is, I like like going for like work drinks and Christmas. Day. We can't do that this year, so I'm trying to find new things. That I like. I've already watched several Christmas films, and it is only November, but yeah. that's okay. <laughs> that's allowed. My next question is going to be, what are your top five Chris, fave Christmas films? What do you love? The Santa Claus, like, classic. A, which, a, one, which one? The Sorry. one with, um, oh my God, I don't know his name. <laughs> I just call it the Santa Claus. Santa Claus, there's like three of them. Yeah, there's, the there's like, person. and number two he finds Mrs. Claus, and number three it's like Jack Frost. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's my favourite one. Because it just feels like, I feel like that's, the Christmas film it's so festive um uh, Eloise at Christmas time which I think is a Disney Channel original it's about about this little girl and she lives in a hotel with her grandma and her grandma's Julie Andrews um and she's just like really mischievous and like road like runs around the hotel and I think she solves a crime how (laughs) the heck have I not seen this no one has and it's so good and I'm like Julie Andrews is in it and everyone's like it's so good it's so I good. I need to find it. I need yeah. to find it. Good. Um, the holiday. Yes, it's a classic. Love actually. Yeah. Um, and probably nativity. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know. I know. It's things as well, like that you grew up with. I mean, yeah. like those films were always on. And like you say, that Santa Claus one. I know exactly what you mean. That was the one that, like, I'm pretty sure that was out the year I was born. So like, we were always watching it. Uh, always and it's just like it. I feel like it's because the way they have created the workshop is the perfect way like it's the reindeers it's perfect so yeah it's amazing it's the set it's amazing <laughs> pretty awkward screen, but. so what about favorite winter accessory Ooh. um oh coats fluffy coats okay. i i love them with a burning passion and i have a addiction like it's an issue <laughs> like thank god i can't get to zara <laughs> it's, it's dangerous <laughs> Yeah. that's so funny that's so funny everybody loves different things I'm a boot girl I love boots oh yeah I to be fair I've gotten into boots this year I've actually worn them out a bit and I was like oh check me out not in a trainer never seen before but they're so warm I don't know why I've yeah. never done it definitely love it so if you could learn a new skill what do you reckon it would be and who do you who would you like to be your tutor oh my gosh um a new skill oh Oh, gosh, I don't know. Maybe, like, <clears throat> fly a plane. <laughs> <laughs> don't fly a plane. It's, it's, like, useful. And, no, of course, I can't think of any pilot except for the pilot from Come From Away, even though she's not even a real pilot. Beverly. <laughs> um, Brilliant. I don't know that. So, I'm so, like, um, I always act like I'll do loads of different things, but I really only sing, bake, and read. <laughs> like, there's not any other things <laughs> I mean, a play, flying a plane would be useful, right? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know why that's coming to my brain, but I just think, why yeah, not? why not? And you could be a a, um, a private pilot. I mean, let's be honest, like there's money in that. Flight in a show. You're <laughs> <laughs> rolling in it. So, in your opinion, what do you reckon are the best flavour combinations? Um, like. I'm not sure if it's a combination like salted caramel. Okay. Like salt and caramel of um chocolate and peanut butter. And then yeah. most things that are just sweet and salty. Like I think that's per- like a sweet and salty popcorn. Like I think that's why I like salted caramel. Yeah. It just goes so well. It does. So if money was no object and you could buy anything in the world, what do you reckon would be your first your top three big ticket items? A giant townhouse. Like a gorgeous townhouse, like in like Mayfair or something something okay, like oh, that lovely. 
very nice like, with like gorgeous interior with the kitchen island and everything um what else did I buy um gosh this is really testing my I really I just can't think today um I don't know if this has been invented yet and it may sound really materialistic but like a phone that you never needed to charge it was just always charged that's like, a very good idea yeah yeah I mean you, might have, to, you have, might have to pay for somebody to invent it but you know money's no object so I, could, I think I could do that <laughs> so you can do that exactly exactly, exactly. Yeah. um and um probably like a Porsche yeah, <laughs> yeah just, somebody somebody to chauffeur you around like for me oh. yeah I, mean, I don't yeah. mind driving but you know it's yeah. a bit like it if you've got yeah if you've got so much money that you can pay for somebody to just take you wherever you want you can sit in the back with your non-chargeable phone <laughs> <laughs> see because I just I, I I hate that I'm like out and about I'm like I'm on 54 percent days over I, I need to go because I, I'm not gonna get home I'm like I always have about four charges in my bag and none of them are charged I oh, just carry them around that is the biggest bugbear for me you have to charge the charger oh god I, just, it annoys I can't me come so in much. I can't come in I've been good lately but I think it's because I've got nothing else on that I can remember to charge yeah, what we charge, charge I'm not charger. doing anything else yeah. clearly <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it is it's such a, it's so annoying so talking about doing anything else what has kept you busy during lockdown lockdown one and lockdown two <laughs> I don't know I'll be writing a trilogy um number one number one was weird I think because it was so don't you dare leave your house <laughs> was like, yeah. I was like pinned to Terrifying. myself yeah. I did I watched a lot of Netflix, a lot of Netflix, and Amazon Prime. Oh my gosh, um, I did. I've done quite a lot of singing, just like you know, we all love an Instagram cover. We do. I've done a lot of that. I've done. I've read quite a bit, and I've like, I'm one of those people who like, I've just discovered reading, and you should all try it. Like, <laughs> I've become a bit obsessed this year, which has been nice because um, it feels like a new like hobby. Um, I've done a lot of baking, which has been fun. Especially now, big puffs on. I'm obsessed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I and I've, know. I've like, I've like tried like so many different makeup looks and like hairstyles. And I'm like, I can do makeup, but it doesn't bother me. With my hair, I just can't do anything. So I'm just like, no, I'm gonna have to focus on the makeup because I, I'll just straighten it. I just don't know how people do it. But yeah, I think like my housemate came and was like, why are you wearing a lash? I was like, I was trying something out. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere. I was just doing Thanks something. Sorry. Yeah, but like I've not done anything like it's like you know change the world save the world done anything like that but that's okay <laughs> I don't think anyone has have they like you know the fact that you yeah. like for me like your tick list to start with like the first kind of week of the first lockdown was like get out of bed tick okay I've done it good I'm yeah, I didn't even do that on Sundays. Like, <laughs> the first week was like it was weird because we because I got sent we got sent home from work on the 16th but lockdown didn't happen to the week after so we already had this week of like yeah. But the world's still happening because people are, are still going up. But like, I can't go to work, and I'm technically am I quarantining? Am I yeah. am I isolating? I, I don't get it. And then obviously they all went in. And I thought I'm a week ahead. You think this is bad? I've really done a week of it. And then obviously it still is on. <laughs> it oh, no. It was a really yeah. dark week. But then I feel like because like we were all of the house. Just like, oh my god! Because we're all like my housemates in Mormon, and the other one works front of house that come from away. So we were all just like not in the job yeah. like around the house like we, none of the lights were on we'd like wake up at four like John eats some chicken nuggets and we'd like just chill and there was this one night we sat out on my balcony just like really really that and then like the Monday came and we were like right this is our life now we're gonna have to do it but then everyone else was just starting lockdown I was like it gets better don't worry you're fine it's, it's like fine. I have I've all been this experience it. yeah I was like who do I think I am that's so funny I know but like you just like want to you know like make not make the most of it but in a sense yeah because you're just like well we're here now like what, yeah. what have we got to do we've got to do something I know and we like in the first week when no one was in official lockdown we did those things like we went and bought a puzzle we got coloring books like <laughs> what I've not touched it I've got yeah. like half a colored in bird under my bed and nothing else <laughs> like I said like because when I was growing up I was always always busy after school I can't imagine if I was just doing school oh my god I'd be miserable yeah, um, same. It's just, 
it's just yeah. not fair <laughs> like you not. can't just we, I understand we're in the pandemic everyone but you can't oh, just yeah. take away the bare minimum and like expect everyone to be okay and like the same with it like because that's not what life is no <laughs> you and need the fun that, bit people going to drama school like you know I, I remember my drama school experience like very much like it was a group thing like you did everything together our our course was very tight like everybody knew one another yeah. everybody was you know and we or you'd go out like in some capacity like together and you're like well what's you, what are you supposed to do yeah, how is I that sp- even... how is that an experience I like... genuinely think I would have not bothered and and gone another like I don't think I would have gone this year if it, me, if it were up to me because I feel it's... so bad for the people who who are who'd already started they can't yeah. they'd lose all that money and you're just that's the other thing you've got all this money that it, it costs to go and like you literally go do do your stuff and then go home oh my I said, like because especially Ooh. with like um where we went we we didn't have halls or anything so we all just lived with each other and like in first year it was like an ongoing joke I hated hugs I was like no one touched me but then obviously living with people being with them every single second of the day like going out with them and was like hi how are you literally like stroking their face because we're just it, you become so close I can't imagine like I know what they're doing like the years are bubbled but I just think but not each year lives with just their year they live with people from other it just once you break it down like that logistics don't work but then obviously I'm like but stay open so I get that you're trying like yeah trial and yeah. error it is it's so hard and like you say you know fundamentally we get why why we have to do it we understand yeah. and it's not that people are going oh this is stupid we don't want it you know we understand it but it is you know it doesn't make it any easier does it no, not at all <laughs> so my last question for you is kind of in two halves so do you have any plans now coming up for the end of the year anything that you've got going on and do you that's kind of like the first half and then the second <laughs> half is what do you hope to do come 2021 um not much plan for the rest of the year to be very honest with nothing coming up I think I'm kind of just holding up for 2021 I'm hoping at midnight something happens and we're all just like rainbows vaccine <laughs> sprayed from the sky and we're all just like cured um so yeah nothing much coming up um I think I'm just gonna really use that like I'm gonna go home for like two weeks which I've not done for Christmas in quite a while so that'll be nice. I mean, even though it'll be really weird because it'll just probably be my parents and my sister. But that that's fun. Like we never like we're not one to like we never threw massive Christmas parties as like a family, which I know people do. So that's gonna be an adjustment. But for me, it probably won't be that big of a one because we're not we've never really done that. Like yeah. So that's good in a way that mine won't really change. Yeah. Um, twenty twenty one. Hoping to be back at, <laughs> at work. Yeah. I I don't know if that will happen. Yeah. Who knows um I, that that's all I really I think I'm quite simple pleasures at the minute because yeah. I'm just what I don't like is like how much I'm just coasting through life um but that I think as long as I like can I could do, I will do it for a year once it gets to March I'll be like yeah okay <laughs> I need to I need to I think I'm just gonna wait until then as long yeah. as I'm fine and I'm like feeling good yeah it's okay yeah. I keep being like this will never happen again so I just need to <laughs> relish in it <laughs> yeah yeah it's true and I think as well like a lot although we get starting to get impatient and starting to get frustrated that things aren't moving quickly at least like you know that there's very very rare times where you will actually get a long period of time off yeah yeah and I, I'm so lucky that I have a job to go back to I like so grateful amazing yeah yeah and um, yeah amazing well i mean happy christmas i hope you have have a lovely christmas and uh, thank you so much for chatting today thank you it's been lovely no worries at all well i'll let you know when it goes up on the channel anyway i'll send you the link out amazing thank you so much no problem and i've got a little project coming up with um, our theatre company at the moment so i'll send you the details if you fancy getting involved you've got some time yeah i'd love to let's see No worries at all. Take care of yourself. I'll speak to you soon. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Georgie. I had such a lovely time chatting with you and all the very best of luck for the future. I am actually wearing a Christmas jumper as well. I've just noticed that you can only see, like, it's got penguins on it. Let's show you. Look. It's really cute and I really love it and I really wanted to wear it, but you can't tell that it's Christmassy. See you again soon!